Hi everybody, welcome to Jake's Showcase. I do videos on Wednesdays. Today, I'm going to do an intellectual video about why all math is wrong. Now this video is sort of intended for the mathematical sort of intellectuals. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about mathematical theorem. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my best to sort of describe to you both the problem, uh, some examples, and the solution to basically my theory or theory that all mathematics is in fact wrong. Some people might think that that's quite, a, quite an assumption to say that all math is wrong. Math has been used in the human civilization for thousands and thousands of years. And what I basically mean by saying that all math is wrong is that basically what we have constructed as a human civilization of mathematics which goes through every aspect of our lives and how things are built and how things are constructed and how things operate is that there's a basic problem with all of mathematics conglomerated. And let's go through what that is. We're going to go through a series of examples of what the problem is with mathematics all together. And I'm going to show you, and you're just going to have to pay attention to each one of the different show, slides that I show you to sort of get the idea of what the problem is. Okay, at the most elemental level of math, we basically have our sort of our basic equation, right? which I put right here. So uh, we have 1 plus 1 equals 2. And, you know, just to sort of move it up a bit, we have 2 plus 2 equals 4. So all math is essentially a, a derived sort of off of things equaling each other. And the problem is exactly just this. It's that the equal symbol. You see, the equal symbol basically means that if you put one and one together, you're going to get two, right? And if you, you know, and, and henceforth. But the problem is that the equal symbol is in fact flawed. So what do you mean that the equal symbol is actually flawed? Well, you see, the thing is, is that when you're adding one and one, you know, it, it equaling it to two, right? You're basically saying that each of the things in itself are in fact the same. But the problem is, is that there is no actual two things that are the same. And I'm going to show you what I mean. We're going to start off right here. This here is two blades of grass. I, I picked them out of the yard. And, and so as you can see here, if you were going to add this in math, it would be 1 plus 1 equals 2. But it doesn't take much sort of reason to take a look and to see that this one is very different than this one. Right? So they... You know, you got a large difference within the same thing. So here, we don't in fact have two blades of grass. We have a different and unique blades of grass for each of them. So you might look at those grasses and think, well, you know, those two things, they, they are pretty different looking, right? Let's look at something that's a little bit more uniform. Let's say, for example, these two cups of coffee. So these two cups of coffee are exactly, uh, you know, they're the same, but they're, they're really not the same. And the reason that they're not the same, even though they might have similar features, is because they're actually in two different places on the same, on, on, this, on this floorboard. And, to top it off, they're being struck by the light, right, at different angles. Right, so the heat and the temperature are affecting both of these cups at a very different rate, affecting their molecules. So even though they appear similar, they're in fact very, very different. This here is different pieces of wood mulch, right, that I pulled out. Now, you could say, oh, it's two pieces of wood mulch. But it's in fact not two pieces of wood mulch. As you look closely, you can see that they have completely different shapes and completely different sizes and completely different weights. Again, they're being impacted by the source of light, heat, and the time, space dimensions that are affecting both of these, right? Examples go on. Here we have rocks that are white, but all, all you have to do is take a look and you can see that they're actually quite different. So these two rocks are, are different. This one is different than this one. Similar to these two being different, even though they have a similar color, they're not, in fact, the same, right? This looks like two pen, pens that are completely uniform, but in fact, they're not uniform. Similar to the cups, they are both being affected by the heat and light differently, and they're on different spaces on the counter. So they're not in fact the same, but in fact, they're actually two completely different things. 
So taking that into account, moving back to our math equation, what you can see here is that this equal symbol is completely wrong. Now, how can we fix this equal symbol to more adequately uh, identify what, what, what things are really like? That's just simply in a live object. Imagine in a live object. How do you compare one person to another? You can't just say that there's two people. You ever seen a basketball team? Is the two players of equal caliber? No, there's usually some that are a lot better than the others, and some have skills in one level, and they have skills in the other. So you can't say that there's just five basketball players if you have a very diverse group of players on the team in, in basketball, or just in regular life. It's very, very difficult to, to group people, to group numbers, much more difficult, in fact, because of our talents and our abilities and our thought processes, not to mention where we are on, on Earth at any particular time, that, you know, it's impossible for us to lump a living species, you know, similar like it is with inanimate objects. And that's not even taking into the account of time. You see, as time goes by, things change, right? They both, you know, age, and as the Earth spins, things change, age, and time goes by. So it, one thing in one period of time is not the same thing as one in another period of time. I'm shooting this video, for example, at one period of time, and by the time you're actually watching it, it's going to be at another period of time. So even within the video frame, it's not actually equal. Who knows what will change by the time you watch this video? Okay, so every great thought process has to have a solution. And this is the solution that I have for the equal symbol. Um, essentially, we got to change it, right? So uh, instead of it being straight across from one thing equaling the other, we have to take into account different factors, right? And so this is sort of the, uh, the idea of the symbol that I've come up with to sort of indicate that. Now, I'm not much of an artist, but you're going to get the idea here. So what you have to do is you have to take into account for several different factors that are going on, both in time, space, heat temperature, dimension, right? And so as you can see here, I'm sort of making a... a uh, this is sort of the symbol here that I got where you, you take into a, account all these different factors and beyond beyond this what you have to do is you have to take into a, a third dimension right so here you can see that I've got all these different uh, directions that the equal symbol could actually be equal to and so this is just basically uh, straight ahead but you also have to take into account sort of a third dimension. So it's going like this, right back and forth. And so you have to sort of visualize that things are basically always not just equal, you know, uh, on a platonic or on, on a straightforward level, but you have to think about it sort of on a time and th third dimension, right? So basically, I circle this. This is sort of the symbol. So it's a back and forth sphere, right? Which sort of would symbolize the essentially uniqueness of everything. So this would all have to touch and it would have to be expanded. But this is the general concept here of um, my, 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 my uh, equals, my, my symbol. Again, no two things are equal. No two people are equal. No two animals are equal. No, nothing is equal. There is no one thing that is equal to another due to the variety of factors in the universe. We're consistently changing. So all of mathematics, as we have it written, is in fact wrong. Thanks for watching Jake Showcase, everybody. Don't forget to like the video below and subscribe to the channel up above. I do my videos on Wednesdays. I hope you have a wonderful day.